Hello all and welcome back. Today we'll be looking at the newly released film from May 29, Civil War. Written and directed by Alex Garland, Civil War is a gritty dystopian drama that unfolds amidst the ongoing conflict between the authoritarian government of the United States and various regional forces. Thank goodness we don't live in a world like that. We begin with the disturbing, violent rhetoric that's surging on the far right about a quote, civil war. The New York Times reporting Hitler. talk of civil you war ignited by the mar a because you don't is flaring I'm not saying this hyperbolically because people are saying it all the war, civil war. I've said that numerous times. Yeah, I've said that numerous times. I've thought that a long time. <laughs> Civil War revolves around Lee, a seasoned war photographer who manages to keep her camera nicely focused even while bombs are exploding around her. We've also got plucky newbie on the scene, Jess. Jess is so green that she can barely take a selfie without shaking, but shows promise. Lee, Jess and a couple of reporter friends, Sammy and Joel, decide to go on a very ill-advised road trip to interview the president in Washington DC which is about to fall to the Western forces, a seemingly unlikely alliance of Texas and California. In part, Civil War is a coming of age film. The up and coming Jess taking over the reins from the more experienced and world weary Lee. The film is beautifully shot with stunning cinematography and direction. The freeze frame shot camera shots provide a delightful insight into the war photographer's art. This is perfectly accompanied by a fantastic sound design. But in another, it's a warning to the US. The fact that the majority of reviewers have focused on the background civil war and not the coming of age story tells us, I think, of the way people on, both, on all sides of the political spectrum worry about the possibility of this. Barbara Walter, in her book How Civil Wars Start, talks about the policy index, which evaluates various aspects of a country's political system, including comparative political participation, the openness and competitiveness of executive recruitment, and the constraints placed on authority of the executive. These scores are derived from an expert assessment and are updated annually. The policy index assigns a numeric score to countries based on their level of democracy or authoritarianness, ranging from minus 10 to full autocracy and to plus 10 to full democracy. The policy index is seen as a good predictor of if a country will descend into civil war. The US has moved from a plus 10 to a plus 5 which is the start of the risk point for a civil war. Civil War, the film, is deliberately ambiguous as to the political leanings of the president or the western forces, with the possible exception of the president passing a slight resemblance to Steve Bannon. But it doesn't matter. The film reminds us not only that war is, as General Sherman put it, hell, but the civil war destroys communities and rips families apart. By being ambiguous, civil war will hopefully appeal to both Republicans as well as Democrats, Hopefully people will realise how damaging a civil war would be to everybody involved and what devastation it would be for the US in general. In conclusion, civil war is much more than just a beautifully crafted cinematic experience. It's a bold, poignant look, not just at the personal journey of our protagonist Jess, but also it offers a powerful message about the potential repercussions of the growing political unrest and fragmentation in the United States. Through its stunning cinematography and clever filmmaking techniques, it encapsulates the tension, devastation and heartbreak that is civil unrest. Comparing the policy index predictions and the plot of the film, it's almost as if civil war is a cry for unity, underscoring the importance of staying vigilant of the political shifts and keeping the conversation going about what can be done to mitigate the risks of real life civil war. Amidst the chaos of the film, there is a story of growth and resilience, mirroring our own capacities to evolve, adapt and fight for a harmonious world. If you enjoyed this exploration of civil war and a deep dive into the political implications stitched within its narrative, please don't forget to click on the like button. Every like significantly helps to keep this channel running and ensures I can continue to bring you more film analysis and cultural critique. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Subscribing ensures that you won't miss out on future videos and discussions. Thanks for tuning in and remember, let's keep the dialogue open and respectful. After all, we're in this together. Until next time. Okay, as I was writing this, 
A man set fire to himself outside of the Trump court case in New York. Uh, I wrote that I hope he makes a full recovery. I've since learned that he passed away. Um, I don't want to talk about his motivations or make, some, make him into some kind of hero or villain, but I do want to leave you with a segment from the video he posted to Instagram, apparently on his way to New York. Start a fucking revolution. Start a fucking revolution. Start a fucking revolution. You've got nothing to lose.